Okay, what we're going to show you here is just a very simple uh, containment of an oil spill. What I've applied here is some motor oil, just straight, clean motor oil. We can cover the spill with some oil sponge absorbent. Whenever we're responding to spill, we want to make sure that we cover the spill completely. The neat thing about this product is it does absorb instantaneously. Unlike clay type products where you have to stand on them, grind them into the surface, this product here absorbs that quick. What you're going to see here is that this product is completely dry on the bottom. So as we absorb this product here, we want to make sure that we cover the spill completely and then we can simply just move it aside and there you have it. Your spill is completely clean to the touch. Alright, what we just previously showed you here is how quickly oil sponge does encapsulate an oil spill. What you're going to be left with when you're done absorbing the spill is you're going to be left with the solidified pieces of absorbent. The nice thing about this is this product here can be disposed of as solid waste. All this other product here that we had remaining can be reused up to saturation, so we can continue to reuse this. If we had a large spill, we could continue to mix this product back into it, absorbing more oil if we needed to. As such, let's say we had a spill that was continuously leaking, we could continue to add product onto the spill. If you find out that the product's starting to turn very dark and the spills may be more than we have for the absorbent, just simply add a little bit more absorbent to the top. doesn't make a difference if we're adding too much because, again, the product can continue to be reused up to saturation. You always work it around the spill, making sure to keep that product moving, turning all the dry product into the wet liquid that we need to absorb, and again, we have, as you've seen, a dry surface. Again, these smaller pieces can be separated out, so we're just disposing of the spill. You're not disposing of anything other than the spill. We're just going to dispose the spill. This product can be reused, even if it has some of these smaller pieces in it. It can be reused, or these larger pieces can be classified out for immediate disposal. All right, there are two types of oil sponge products. There's oil sponge AB and oil sponge AB+. The primary difference in the two products is that the AB Plus product contains a 100% organic fertilizer nutrient base into it, as well as an active culture package. The active culture package is designed to degrade a wide variety of hydrocarbons, from simple oils, gas, and greases to more complex ones. If we are taking this product and we've absorbed it and we need to dispose of it now, first we need to make sure that we dispose of it according to all state, local, and federal regulations. If we're allowed to bioremediate this product, we want to make sure that the product is dry to the touch, that it's not leaching any liquids out of it, and then we can simply turn it into a biocell. The time and length of degradation of the hydrocarbons for which we have contained is going to de be determined by several conditions. Um, the amount of oil or fuel that we've absorbed, environmental conditions, uh, weather, rain, hot, cold, snow, there's a lot of factors that are involved in it. So it's very difficult to say that this product's going to just simply eat it and it's going to be done in 10 or 15 minutes, there's no more oil. Um, most cases it takes 30 to 45 days uh, to return the soil back to a uh, safe status.